welcome children today we are starting the new chapter division and today's topic is definition of division so look into the board children here you can see a box and inside the box there are 12 flowers and here you can see four vases so what you have to do is you have to distribute the flowers in such a way that there should be equal number of flowers in each vase okay we have to distribute the flowers in such a way that such a way that there should be equal number of flowers in each vase so let's do so i am going to arrange the flowers in the vases equally so let's do so i am putting the first flower in the first vase second flower in the second vase third flower in the third vase fourth flower in the fourth vase now again i am going to put this flower in the first vase this flower in the second vase now there are two flowers in each vase again i am going to arrange this flower in the first vase this flower in the second vase this in the third vase and this in the fourth vase now children look here i have arranged the 12 flowers equally in the four vases and now how many flowers are there in each vase here there are four vases 1 2 3 4 and how many flowers are there in each vase there are three flowers each look here there are three flowers 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 so there are three flowers in each vase so like this making equal groups is called division so what is division making equal groups is called division and we'll write like this way how many flowers were there in total there were 12 flowers so i'll write 12 divided by how many vases were there there were four vases 12 divided by 4 is equal to how many flowers in each vase three flowers so we'll write is equal to 3 so how will you how will we read this 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 and this is the symbol for division understood so now look into the board divide the following equally and write the division fact for each the last page you wrote the division fact what was the division fact 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 so this is called the division fact like this you have to write okay so what is the first question 10 balloons for 5 kids so we have to write the division fact 10 divided by 5 is equal to so we have to divide the be, uh, balloons into five groups we have to divide the balloons into five groups such that each group should contain the equal number of balloons so let us divide one group 2 3 4 5 so now children i have divided the balloons into five groups and how many balloons are there in each group two balloons in each group so how will we write 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 so how will you write each kid gets two balloons understand now next question six mangoes for two girls so first we have to write the division fact 6 divided by 2 is equal to so we have to divide the mangoes into two groups such that each group should contain equal number of mangoes 
So let's divide the mango into two groups. So there should be equal mangoes. So this is one group. This is another group. So there are two groups of mangoes. And how many mangoes are there in each group? One, two, three. So there are three mangoes in each group. So we'll write here three. So how will you read this? Six divided by two is equal to three. So each girl gets how many mangoes? Three mangoes. Understand? Now last question. Eight carrots among two rabbits. So how will we write the division fact? Eight divided by two is equal to. So we have to divide the carrots into two groups such that each group should contain equal number of carrots. So we have to divide it into two groups. So this is one group. So this is another group. So I have divided into two groups and how many carrots are there in each group? There are four carrots in each group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there are two groups and there are four carrots in each group. So here we will write four. And how will we read this? Eight divided by two is equal to four. And each rabbit gets how many carrots? Four carrots. Understand? So what did you study today? Today we studied what is division. What is division? Making equal groups is called division. Okay? So these type of questions will be there in your worksheet. Do, do it in the worksheet correctly. Okay? So that's all for today's class. Thank you.